And the thing that I don't like about this dude that did the um the the, the IRO rating, he didn't rate my IROs when I played two v twos, three v threes, five v fives. Because if you go do the research, I play better when it's actually team ball. I told you guys before, one on ones do not prove anything at all. Real hoopers know one v ones do not prove anything. Go look at all of my five v fives that I played, especially my favorite one that I played back when I used to live in Florida. I told you that I'm more of like a team three v three, five v five player than a one v one. Put me on a two v two or three v three, four v four or five v five, different story. Yeah. What's good you today I'm back with another video and today I got a very interesting video for you guys. Today I'm going to determine how good is Fly reacts on a team setting. But before I start this video I gotta say shout out to my man Fly. He's been doing big things behind the scenes and even with the cameras on. Fly was on Genius the other day and he's definitely been carrying 2020. So respect to Fly. Now let's get to the video. As you guys know, Fly Reacts is one of the worst 1v1 basketball players in the entire YouTube community. However, when Fly is on a team setting, he's a completely different player. The first thing that I want to talk about is Fly's basketball IQ, which is decent mainly because of his playmaking. Fly actually knows what he's doing on the floor when paired up with teammates, and he tries to make the best play possible. He rarely commits turnovers, and his passing is very effective. Kasha said this multiple times in the past when he played with Flight. I can't even count. Flight got good passing, y'all. Like, that is Flight best attribute. He got good pass awareness. Like, his IQ of passing is really high. Like, no cap, y'all. Flight's passing is for sure his best attribute, and he's aware of what the opponent is giving him. The second thing that I want to talk about is Flight's movement without the ball. Flight moves really well without the basketball, especially when there's a lane open. Like I said, he's very aware of what the opponent is giving him, so he does a really good job of reading the defense and making himself open for a bucket. Even though Flood is not consistent when shooting the ball, <laughs> he still does the little things such as rebounding, showing great effort, and making great passes. The third thing that I want to talk about is how Fly drives way more to the basket and he's actually way more efficient. The problem with Fly whenever he shoots is that he rushes it and he doesn't take the time to have a proper form. Fly's shooting techniques in June can say otherwise, but he still commits the same mistake. He shoots way too much at times and isn't that efficient. However, his driving has gotten way better. Surprisingly, Fly's layout package on a team setting has also been pretty impressive to say the least. He likes doing these acrobatic layups and can make a decent amount of them. However, Fly can still get too saucy and force up a horrible shot. But to say that he can make these types of layups is still very impressive. Fly's defense is decent as well, but he's not consistent as he might get blown by by his opponent and allow an easy bucket. In conclusion, Fly is a very unselfish player team-wise and knows what he's doing most of the time. With that out of the way, let's talk about Fly's team setting record. For this, I combined all of the 2v2s, 3v3s, 4v4s, and 5v5s that Flight has played on YouTube, so keep that in mind. Flight has played a total of 35 team setting games, with 11 of them coming from 2v2s, 11 from 3v3s, 1 from 4v4s, and 12 from 5v5s. Flight has a team setting record of 18 and 17, with some of his losses coming against TJAS and Jenna Bandy, Cash, IKC, and Jesser, and Mikey and Jasir, just to name a few. His worst game team-wise was against Cash, Nasty, and Kenny. Fly shot 1 for 10 from the field and 0 for 8 from 3, which results in an 11 field goal percentage and a 0 3-point field goal percentage. However, Fly has a positive team record and also won 18 games, with some of his wins coming against Amari and DJ Frost, Kenny and McQueen twice, and a trash-talking high school team, just to name a few. Fly's best overall game on a team setting was against DMB Nation, Vaughn, and more, which was a 3v3 alongside DDG. Even though Fly shot 33% from the field and 17% from 3, he still had 4 points, grabbed 9 rebounds, and had 3 assists, which is very impressive. If you want to see the rest of the stats from the other games, it is on the screen right now, and feel free to pause the video if you want to see all of them. Now let's talk about Fly's team setting stats. In the 34 games that I researched, Fly attempted a total of 223 shots from the field and made 67 of them, 
which results in a 30 total field goal percentage. 98 of those were three-pointers, and Flight only made 15 of them, which results in a 15 three-point field goal percentage. To go even more in-depth, Flight had a total of 78 points, 46 assists, and 95 rebounds combined in all of the team setting games he's played in. However, this results to Flight only averaging 2 points per game, 1 assist per game, and 3 rebounds per game. As you can see, Fly isn't really a consistent player when playing team ball, but he still hustles for rebounds and can facilitate at times. Now let's take a look at Fly's team setting shot chart. Yes, I literally combined every single shot Fly attempted from every single team game he's played in, so let's break it down. As you see, Fly takes a good amount of shots on the inside area of the floor, specifically near the right block. Fly also takes a good amount of 3 pointers in pretty much every spot. However, he isn't really that consistent, which is why his 3 point percentage is 15%. And last but not least, Fly barely shoots any mid ranges, and that's mainly because he'd rather settle for 3 pointers. Like I said, if Fly keeps driving way more to the basket, stops settling for way too many threes, and develops a good mid range game, he's gonna be a threat in the future. And that concludes the video. What do you guys think of Fly when he's playing on a team setting? Do you think he's better on a team setting or a 1v1 setting? Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. This video took me a lot of time to make, so I would appreciate if you guys can leave a like on the video and subscribe as you are on the road to 10,000 subscribers. So let's hit it together. Other than that, I hope everyone has a great day. Peace out.